PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, how are we all going today? Hey, I heard a couple of emails from you fellas asking me if you can plasma cut like with one of these carbon rod things here, like an arc gouger thing, or is plasma cutting something totally different? Well, really plasma cutting is something totally different guys, but anyway, I'll show you the difference in the two. Um, these things here are basically just for getting old welds out. If you make a cock up when you're welding something and you want to, like, instead of getting your angle grinder and grinding it out, you use this thing, because it sort of throws a flame out the end of it, it's real cool. Um, whereas plasma cutting is more designed to cut. But I have actually used a plasma cutter for doing the same job as this, but it's just not as effective. Well, I don't think it is anyway. Anyway, guys, let's get into this video and I'll show you the difference. And always remember, guys, if you like what you see, subscribe and come say good day in the comments below. So I've got my faithful old Cut 40 plasma cutter here, guys. I mean, I've been using this thing for years and years and years, and I've used it for all sorts of things, including shit that it shouldn't be used for. But it's still going, and it's a good little machine. So we'll use this one, and I'll show you a little bit of plasma cutting. And then we'll do some carbon arc gouging. As per usual, guys, you can see I've got my poor machine running flat out. That's just my style. Flat out or nothing at all. Yeah! So, guys, as you can see, the old plasma cutter torch here. This is basically just designed for cutting steel. It can cut up to like about 10 mil, but I wouldn't advise it with this. It's a little bit too small for 10 mil, but five or six mil, it does no worries at all. So this is how this works, guys. Easy peasy. Just like that. No worries whatsoever. Yeah. So with this baby here, guys, this is your carbon gouging rod. And what this is designed for is if you have a look here, guys, you can see an old weld here. And what this is designed to do is to try and just knock this old weld off. Uh, rather than the plasma torch, which I showed you before, it's just designed to cut. But I have used the old plasma torch trying to get rid of this stuff. But I don't think it's as good as the old... Um, carbon rod. Anyway, we'll give this a crack and we'll see how that goes. Now because these torches for these are quite expensive guys, I've sort of made my own DIY one. So what you see here, it's got to be better with a professional torch, well I would think so anyway. But I just made mine up myself out of an old electrode holder and an air gun. I reckon that will work just the same. But once again, I'm not even running this on an arc welder, I'm running this on a MIG welder. If you want to see how I've hooked this up to my MIG welder guys, just check up there and I'll put a video link and you can go and see what I've done up there. Anyway, Without further ado, let's see if we can get it to go. So all this is is a stick of carbon, guys. So the carbon or um, graphite or whatever the hell you want to call it. I think it's one and the same, but someone will tell me in the comments below, no doubt. And when you're using this, guys, don't put it right up the end there, because what you'll find is it'll heat up the whole rod and it snaps off quite easy. So the object of the exercise is to move it as close to your work as possible, but still give you enough room to get in. Like if you need to take a weld out or something that's in a tight corner or something, you're going to have to have it longer than that, of course. But if you're working like this, straight up and down, -hoo 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 <laughs> it's turned on, Pete. If you're working like this, straight up and down, then uh, you can just have it quite short. Anyway, let's get into it. Yeah! Like I say, guys, you really need a special torch for this. But me being me, you know me, how miserable I am, I just made my own. If you had an original gouging torch, I presume it would be a lot better than this. Anyway, get into it. So what we want to try and do is take this weld off. So what I'm using here is using the uh, rod and I'm using some compressed air here. Right, let's do it. Can you see that guys? It almost got rid of that weld completely. Try another one over here. As you can see there guys, it got rid of most of the weld, but it didn't do much for the steel underneath it. I could probably knock that off with a chisel and get it looking a little bit better. This here is designed to get rid of metal basically. So guys, now let's have a go at getting old welds off with the old plasma cutter. Yeehaw! 
So we've got a ratty old weld here, guys. So we'll see if the plasma cutter can do any better. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cutting it off, but it's also cutting through the steel. See that, guys? It's gone straight through the steel there. Anyway, let's have another go. <laughs> See that guys, two different sorts of tools. This here's for cutting, and this sucker's here is just for trying to get old welds and that out. It doesn't actually cut, it just sort of flicks the old weld out of the way. So there we go. So as you can see, guys, two totally different tools. This one here is for cutting, cutting out nice fancy shapes. This one here is just for getting rid of lumps of metal that you don't want anymore. Basically blow the shit out of the way. Anyway, guys, hope you learned something. Another boring episode of Pete's Tools. Anyway, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. We can have a bit of a yarn. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. Pete's Tools. Com. Pete's Tools. Com. Pete's Tools. Com.